Hey, Bill the Rules here, and welcome back to Professor Layden and the Spectre's Call. So before we continue, we do have a new toy train fish. And I, don't st I still think I can't do the theater puppet, but I'll check it again. But let's do the toy train one that we got from Clarence. Clarence's Dream Engine. My best friend and I, we were looking up at the stars when suddenly there was a flash of light and I realized I was in a train. But I didn't know where it was going. Anyway... I set up a course just like in my dream, laid the tracks to guide the train to the goal. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so there are five cars. It looks like there are no obstacles and there's a lot of gas here. Um, and it has to go through all of the stations. So, that's wrong. That's not what I meant to do. To do this. Oh. Um, let's immediately pick up gas. Pick up gas again. Okay, I ran out of gas. Okay. So that's not the correct way to go. Maybe by trying pick this up again and grab this and go through here oh hey I got it nice Okay. Okay, so I didn't need the third thing of gas. That's the mistake I kept making for this. I thought I need to use all of the gas canisters. I didn't. Okay, so that's good to know for future um, puzzles for this. Nice. And that was the most recent one that I received for that. So let's just go back. And let's do the new fish tank. Um, bustling suburbs. This opulent aquarium was designed with more than one fish in mind. It may look easy, but you'll need a bit of planning to collect the coins in time. There's a trick to it. Okay. So, we have to place the bubbles where we want the fish to bounce. So, fish will hit here and bounce on its own. Um, I do need a bubble here, I think. Or do I? So, fish goes here, it bounces, and it goes here. So that caused it to be slingshotted back the way that it came. If so, I might not want to put a bubble here. So the fish will bounce off of this, go through this coin, go through here, get the golden bubble, and then just start ricocheting like crazy. So I need a bubble here. I think I need one here as well. I have to use all the bubbles, so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, this is what makes the most sense to me, so let's go for it. Hmm. Okay, that worked. Not in the way that I thought it would, but I got it. Nice. With one second to spare. Awesome. 
Okay. What? Oh, okay. Apparently I missed a hint going on this screen. Well, thank you. Oh! Wait, I thought I got the mouse badge for this screen already. Does that mean you can get mouse badge from the same mice over and over again? So, that's cool. Oh. Hit an item? Yep. Found a new item. Exquisite bowl. Okay. Cool. Oh, and you have a puzzle for me. Luke. Cooey. Fancy seeing you. Okay. Who's this? Hello, Fitch. One of your friends, Luke? Yeah, we used to play together all the time. Used to? But now that we're older, you don't come around to play anymore. But aren't you usually cooped up inside your house? Are you on an errand? Luke here has been kind enough to accompany us to the market. The market? That's the nest of the workers' children, the workers who left the factory. There's a factory? In Miss Hollery of all places? Yes, it's on the east side of town, but it's derelict now. You should have a look if you're curious. All the workers lost their jobs there, and now their children flock to the marketplace every day. Be careful, Luke. With your rich upbringing, you're bound to inspire jealousy. Jealousy? But why would they be jealous of me? Oh, Luke, you're still so naive. You live in a mansion and your dad is top of the pecking order. The other children can only dream about a life like yours. But that's just silly. You'll understand one day, but don't worry. He'll be fine if you stick with your friends here. That's right. We'll look after him. Good to hear you've taken him under your wing. Hey, why not have a gander at this puzzle I made? For old time's sake. You always did like puzzles, Luke. Let's see if you can solve this one. Okay. Interesting to know. How old was the name of this puzzle? You've received a letter from a friend. Our baby girl, Nat, was born in March last year. If you multiply her age by those of her older sister, Kat, and brother, Pat, the product is 36. Adding all of their ages gives a sum of 13. Everyone's healthy and happy. The letter was written on the 25th of April. What are the ages of the three children she was writing about? Um... Hmm. Okay, so baby girl Nat was born March of last year. So, and it's April 25th, so that means she is now one year old. So Nat is one. Oh. Come back when you actually have a challenge for me, kid. So, Pat is six, Cat is six, and Nat is one. I think this is right. That was it. Correct. Two of the children are six, and the youngest is one. It only works if the older siblings are the same age. In fact, they're twins. That was a really easy one. It was 35 Picarots, like it was hard. Now there's a feather in your cap. By the way, I heard your mom is traveling abroad. There's no need to sulk just because of that. I'm not sulking. Cuckoo. Next you'll be telling me crows aren't black. <laughs> okay, let's head out. Hmm, still laughing up a storm over here, huh? Spectre checked into the hotel, did it? Did it have to put down a deposit? Oh, Brock, you're so funny. I heard there were guests staying at the hotel when the Spectre smashed it all up. Yeah, that was us. But no one got hurt? Did you think our Spectre just got terrible aim? Like, ha ha ha. And now you want to go to the black market? Ha <laughs> ha, good luck. That's Black Raven turf. Ooh, gang turf? Black Raven. Hey, you'd make a pretty good parrot. Black Raven. Black Raven, Spock. Oh my god, this guy. <sighs> okay, so this is the intersection we're looking for. The market is just on the other side of the rope bridge. I can't wait to see what kind of things people are selling. Okay, let's go.
And of course, let's look for hint coins before I do anything. There's one. There's two. Ooh, I found something. Hit another item. Weightless tablet. Hmm. Interesting. Where's the last hint coin on the screen? Huh, there it is. Nice. Ah, uh, hello. I would like to buy some of these delicious looking toffees, please. Would you indeed? Ha! Huh. I make these sweets by hand and I make them for children. Do you think I would waste them on adults who can't control their sweet tooth? Jeez, Aunt Taffy. Huh? So does that mean you won't sell any to me? Certainly not. A great hulking girl like you, you're a grown woman. But what about you, little boy? Would you like some toffee? Fudge? Humbugs? Pear drops? I'm not a little boy anymore, so no, thank you. Well, you could teach that girl a thing or two. We have no further business then. Kindly move along. Sorry, Emmy. I should have just bought some and given them to you. Oh, that's okay, Luke. I am a grown one. Yeah, you are. Are you sure? You look quite disappointed. I'm fine. Really, I am. <laughs> oh, she's so mad. I'd be mad, too. What kind of business is that? You only sell it to kids? Really? Oh, okay, apparently that's the way to go back, not forward. Okay. I, I should have guessed that from looking at the map at the top. That's why it exists. The black market must be hidden. This all looks pretty normal here. Yeah, it wouldn't be out in the open. Let's ask around a bit. Okay. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a second one. Oh, and there's a third one. Nice. Oh, hey, I found another puzzle. Hello, hello! Today we have plenty of fresh, juicy fruit on sale. All at bargain prices, might I add. Hmm, they look mouth-wateringly good. What's that one like? Oh, you haven't tasted one? They're so sweet and succulent. Here, try a sample. Oh, this is divine. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the black market, would you? Why are we openly asking about the black market? What? I've heard rumors, but the only people who go there are either very rich or very foolish. We're looking for something in particular. If you know anything at all, it would be a great help to us. I suppose it can't hurt, but on one condition, you have to solve this puzzle for me. Okay. Puzzle 33, Fruit Friends, 25 Pickerons. Four friends arranged to meet at a certain spot in town, each bringing their favorite type of fruit. The first friends to arrive were the banana enthusiast and the fan of grapes, and each placed their bunch of fruit at their feet. The next two were lovers of grapefruits and melons. They also put their fruit at their feet. They also put their... but then immediately ran off as fast as they could. Where did the group meet? Circle location from A to F. Um... First groups of friends to arrive were the banana enthusiasts and the fan of grapes. I'll admit, this one has me stumped. I don't fully understand how you're supposed to work it out. Um, oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Okay. It's B, I think. Because... I was just thinking about the shape of the fruit. Grapefruits and melons, they're round. Which means if they put them at their feet, they immediately ran off as fast as they could because they rolled away, right? Which means they had to have met at B because bananas wouldn't roll down a hill and neither would grapes, but melons and um, grapefruits definitely would. So I'm going to go with B. Um, final answer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's current. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. Yes. I love the thrill of a good solution. Me too. 
Correct. The four friends met at point B. The melon and grapefruit were round, and so began rolling down the hill as soon as they were set down. Naturally, the owners raced after their lovely groceries. You got a new action for the puppet, leader, puppet theater lit. Okay. Nicely done, sir. Now let me tell you what I know. They say the black market is run by a frightening man, but no one has ever seen his face. There are rare antiques and works of art to be had, but it's shady business as the name suggests. Doesn't sound like a very savory place to be. I can't wait to see it. I wonder just who this mysterious man is, if he's even a man. Don't succumb to the suspense and me. We'll know soon enough. Let's ask around for more information. Okay, and we'll ask around for more information in the uh, next one. I assume we have to talk to this guy who keeps... Um, pushing his hair up. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.